Hello Year 6 parents, uh, my name is Nikki Ross, I'm head teacher at Cuckoo Hall Academy and Woodpecker Hall Academy. Um, with me in this meeting today I've got Gemma Vincent who is the associate head of both schools. Hi everyone. Hello. Um, so what we hope to do today is to give you some support in terms of applying for secondary school. Uh, usually we would have you in school and we would have a meeting uh, to go over this. Uh, but with current circumstances, everything's having to be done uh, virtually. Um, so in a second, I'm going to uh, share a PowerPoint with you and I'm going to talk you through some of the slides, but not all of them. Once we finish this, it will obviously be posted on the website and you'll be sent a link to it so you can have time to digest what it says and to think up any questions. Um, and then on Monday, Gemma, I believe we're having a, another Zoom where parents can um, come into the meeting. Yeah, definitely. That's on Monday coming, the um, 21st of um, September. And myself and Miss Ross will be there. So if you've got any questions, we can try and answer those. Um, it will be on Monday between 10 and 10.30 and the office will send you all the Zoom link. So please do join if you've got any of those questions. Okay, great. I'm just going to share the PowerPoint now. Uh, if you just give me uh, two seconds to do that. Here we go. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, when you apply for a, a secondary school, it is a really nerve wracking time because, you know, it's a big responsibility and you want to get it right. Um, the good news is there's lots of great schools in Enfield if you are applying in Enfield um, and usually parents usually get their first, second, sometimes third choices. Um, but we will talk you through the process and hopefully you'll find this useful. So um, firstly, just to say that there are um, several types of schools and you'll see this in your book. Uh, there's community schools, there are foundation schools, voluntary aided schools and academies. Now what that basically means, they all do exactly the same thing, they educate your children in, in, in mostly the same way, um, but how you apply and the cri admissions criteria may be slightly different, so it's really important that you do log on to the school's website and have a little look to see um, what their admissions criteria may be. Um, so for example, I know Heron Hall's admissions at policy um, is slightly different from if you're part of the local authority because if you are already part of the chat family, you get uh, preferential treatment as such uh, and you uh, sort of go top of the list to continue your time with us at chat. Um, so please go on to the websites of any schools that you are interested in and see what their admissions criteria may be. Uh, they may also want you to send in some additional paperwork also. So here's a little view of our area at a glance. Uh, this is obviously the little yellow dot here, I'm just showing you on the map, is Woodpecker and Cuckoo. And these are our local schools. Now this applies to you if you live locally, uh, these would be your local schools, but if you are over this side of the borough and you travel in, then obviously you would have to have a look at the, the schools locally to you. Um, I've highlighted the schools that are our local schools for your consideration. Um, we've obviously got at number one, which is down here, we've got AIM. At number 18, we've got Oasis Hadley. Um, number 13 is obviously uh, Heron Hall, our sister school. Uh, number four, we've got Bishop Stortford. Uh, number 15, we've got Kingsmead. And number eight, we've got Edmonton County. Now those are our closest schools. And if you live locally, one of the main criteria that get you into a school is how close you live to it. Um, so you need to bear that in mind when you are considering um, your choices as well. That's not to say that if your favorite school is over on the other side of the borough, that you shouldn't put that down or include that in your list of schools. Um, so just moving on to the next slide. As I said, here are the local schools and some of the other schools that you may be able to apply for. Gemma, have you got the booklet there to show parents? Yeah, so this booklet will be coming out, um, hopefully, did we say? Hopefully the by the end of the week, we have to wait for the local authority to send it to us. But this has everything that you need in it, plus you can also access it online on the Enfield website. Um, but we will be sending this as soon as we get it, we'll be sending it home with your children. Right, thank you Gemma. Um, 
So what is the admissions criteria? Basically, it's the rules that uh, the local authority have to use for everybody who's applying to make it a fair system. Um, this may differ between different local authorities. Um, so it is really important that you look at the, on the school's website and you also look at uh, what's on your local authority website. But basically, they're the rules that apply when um, looking for a place in school, a secondary school. So what are the rules? So you have six choices. Um, really important that you um, put down six schools. And obviously the order of your preference is very important. You have to put your favorite school first, then your second favorite, your third favorite, all the way down to your least favorite being number six. Um, and what the local authority will do on your behalf is they will then apply the admissions criteria you can see on your screen to all of those six schools at the same time. Um, if you are, are, have a child who has been in uh, the public care system or has been previously adopted, you have preferential treatment as such. Uh, following that, you have, um, if there's a child with exceptional medical needs, they may be given um, priority. And then again, if you've got a sibling at the school, then if a member of staff works there, and finally, how far you live from the school. So those six, all of those criteria get applied to the admissions criteria of those six schools at exactly the same time. So that's why it's really important that you've put your um, top preference as number one, um, because you may be eligible for number one school and number three school, but you will only be offered your top preference. So if, for example, you weren't eligible for your favorite school, but you were eligible for number two, you would only be offered number two. If you were trying to be smart about it and you think, well, my favorite school, I think I live a little bit too far away from, so I'm going to put that second, and they apply all of this criteria, and actually you're eligible for one and two, you will be offered your top preference, which would be number one, even though your actual top preference is number two. So the order you place them in is really important. Generally speaking, most children get into a secondary school depending if they have a sibling or by how far away they live to the school. That's generally the rules that you tend to get in by. However, if you have a child who meets any of the other criteria, you must let that, let that be known in your application because obviously, as we've said, you meet the criteria that will get you further up um, the list as such. Okay, so moving on. So even if you're applying for a school outside of the local authority, you still include them in your Enfield application. Because you live in Enfield, you have to apply through Enfield. So if you wanted uh, to go to a school in Haringey, still apply through Enfield because you live in Enfield and they will apply on your behalf. However, if you live in Haringey and you travel in to come to our schools, but you want your child to go to an Enfield school, you will have to apply through Haringey. So it's based on the borough that you live in will depend on which route you take to apply for your secondary school. Um, the closing date is the 31st of October, which is on this new slide. Everybody must have applied by that point. Um, you will find out, if I go back to the previous slide, everybody gets emailed on the same day. On the 1st of March, you will find out which school you will be offered. I'm just gonna skip the next one. Um, that if you want your child to go to a school that is fully selective or partially selective, uh, they may be, um, you know, very, very um, able and you think that they may pass the, the entrance exams or they're very talented in sports um, or they're really creative. You might think, you know, their art skills might get them into a school that, uh, ha that does art very well. And um, you must look on their school's websites because because of COVID-19, um, they may have postponed some of their tests. They may be doing their tests slightly later. They may be doing their testing in slightly different ways. And um, so if you are thinking of that route, 
please log on and have a look at their website. If you're wondering which schools are selective and which aren't, it's all listed in the, the booklet that you will be sent uh, through school and obviously on the website, uh, Enfield's website as well. Um, okay, so the last slide I'm going to talk about is actually how to apply and you have to apply online. It's really straightforward and it takes you through step by step. However, if you are finding it a little bit tricky, please ring in and we'll be able to talk it over the phone with you. Uh, if that isn't enough support for you, and um, if you make an appointment, um, we will be able to do some socially distanced one-to-one -one, um, applications uh, for you. Um, as I said, you know, it's a little whistle, uh, whistle stop tour of everything that we, uh, you need to do. The booklet will go through everything in detail. Enfield website will go through everything in detail and we're always at the end of the phone as well. Um, as Gemma said earlier on Monday, uh, you will be, will be having a Zoom meeting. So have your questions ready, come in at 10 o'clock and um, we've had lots of Zoom meetings and if parents come in later, they miss the question and we have to repeat. So if you come in at 10 o'clock, we'll have half an hour to hopefully answer any questions that you may have. Um, we look forward to seeing you all on Monday at the Zoom meeting. Many thanks. Bye. Bye.